Hey, it's Crafty Kitty, and I'm here to share with you a project I'm making. I'm doing using the items that I received from Panda Hall Selected. Um, I will give you a reminder. I did receive from them these cute little bee charms. So I will be making a dangle with that. Um, it, I will have the items up for these that I'm making with in the description box. I also had received from them this cute box of gummy bear um, little charms. So I will be showing you how to, first I'll be showing you how to make a cute little things for um, using in in your albums, your journals, uh, to hold in a hold something in a tuck spot, if you like. Um, I will show you a couple of them that I've made already, and then I will show you how I made them. So as you can see, you can use them sideways, or you can use them up and down here. Um, I did use just uh, paper clips, and I tried to match them to the colors that. Uh, were in the box and thankfully I could I was able to this one actually it was a little tougher to match but it looked like it it matched up better with an orange than it did with a pink uh, so it's more of a coral color and not really uh, pinky pinky like this one is a baby pink here and then my yellow the purple and then the darker orange so this one is kind of like a corally color so that's what I did with those um, and I have the blue, the green, and the red little gummy bears. So I'm just going to show you what I do. I just take it and I slide it in just like that. I will show you it against the papers. But um, like I said, it's just taking this here. Pull it out a little bit. And the, what you can do with these is most of the time when you first put them on, they go this way. They, they turn sideways and it's flat back. But the little screw, there's a little screw on the top here, and all you do is twist it, and it, it allows you to have it um, go flat. So I hope that was um, clear. I hope it wasn't blurry. Um, like I said before, I am having a bit of trouble with my eyes, so it's hard to tell if these are coming in not blurry or, or blurry. So, but I will show you. So, the reason I like to use these, I like to use these, and I have bought paper clips for this reason. So, it is just a little tuck spot, and it holds it in place. And then your little bear just adds a little bit more dimension to your, your project, and it's great. So I think it's really cute. That's what it looks like. So, and here is the green one. Now this is just going to, you have to slide it in here. And then you could leave your little guy to dangle here on the side. Or you just take him and drag him over. Make sure his, he's twisted a little bit. And then he just can slide there. And you can put him there. Or you can put him towards the end. So, and here's the red one. I think the red one, oops, it will pop off if you, if you don't be, if you're not, if you have it twisted, the little top portion. So, but it's pretty easy just to slide them back in again. So, so this is it. This is my little project. And this guy, he can go over right to the end so he can go here or you can move him down. It just depends on where you want him to be dangling on your on your project. But, as you can see, it does show up really well on printed paper as well. As well as just plain cardstock. So, I mean, these are going to be... These would be really cute to put inside a journal and things. So, um, I hope you like this little thing. I, like I said, I will put this down. The description of the, I, the ID number, the product number in the description box. There will There is a code as well to get a discount and that will be in the description box down below as well so again I'll show you the other ones so here's the other colors and I think this is just a cute little project 
It's not hard, doesn't take long, but it does add a little bit of character to your project, I think. And I think it's a lot, really cute. Um, so all you need to do is find yourself some of these. Uh, or I think it is these ones. Yep, these ones here. And they match. These are from the dollar, I think Dollar Tree and the Dollarama. So if you need to have paper clips and you want to match them, should you be getting these little guys? That's the place to get them. So, so that's take that is that particular little one I want to share with you. The next one is, <coughs> pardon me, I have been sick again with a really bad cold. So, um, I'm sorry for my voice. If you can't hear me again, I'm sorry for that too. There's not much I did. Remember, get the little bees. I did find some really cute paper. I'm going to show you how I make the cover of one of my books. Um, it just takes a little bit of playing around as to which one I want to use. Like, do I want to have a black cover or a yellow cover? It just depends. So, um, I like to use... So, this is the product. This is the photo play, it's called. It's a little gnomes, but it also has the little bees on it and everything. And I just thought it was so cute. I love this paper. I love the colors in here, and I think working with that little charm, I think it'll go well. Maybe not that one on the bottom. <laughs> but the little bee ones here I will be using. I'll show you how I make the first page of this. So there is lots in here. And I think I will go with the black on this, and then I will show you how I'm going to use the little charm. But first we'll do this. We'll get this all ready to go. So I do use this tape that I get from either the Dollar, the dollar Tree or um, from one of the scrapbooking stores. Usually I try to get it from the Dollar Store because it is expensive at the other stores. So this is basically all I do. I'm trying to, I don't think I can get this to come down a bit. So you can see, and I will just be only doing the one page with you and the rest of this, I will show you in a future uh, video, what it looks like the completed book. So this is, this is just a little chipboard album that I had gotten from Michael's when they used to sell, they had a dollar 50 bin. I think down the States it was a dollar, but here it was $1.50 and you can get all kinds of little chipboards and um, little bling everything I really wish they would bring the $1.50 little bling bin back <laughs> because that had some awesome things in there you could get stamps you could get all kinds of stuff but anyways so I will show you what I'm going to do with this little charm i think the charms are just adorable and again that that description will also be in their description box should you be interested in picking some up for yourself i think there's a lot you can do like there's two different types of bees in that little box as i showed you in the unboxing and then there is the honeycomb that goes along with it so now this is not going to take that long because i'm Decorating just a little bit on the front cover as well. But this is coming off by the way I want it, so. <coughs> I'm sorry for the cough. As I've said before, I cannot edit my videos, so. I have no editing software and I'm um, not quite sure how to do that stuff so I'm sorry for the cough <laughs> <coughs> and I did forget my water upstairs and that didn't quite go on the way I wanted it to go so I'm going to have to trim it down once I... There's my, little knife. my little utility knife now, to make this little dangle, I had to use, I used two jump rings, and I'll show you it in just a second. But I don't have the tools, so I think the next 
thing I have to try to get is a little jewelry making tools and uh, yeah so that I don't have to squish everything with my fingers because <laughs> it's very funny I was trying to do that and it just I was just like oh goodness tiny 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 little things and hard to get it to come off or squeeze together even so anyways so here's the cover so far I do have to clip the corners now it's a good thing that the part that I, I missed is on the side where um, the rings go and everything Ugh. I always gotta get stuck in there Here is my little cover so far. I am going to use one of these little guys on, on there. But I don't know which one yet, so I have to find my cutter. I'll be right back, sorry. As I said, I am in the process of trying to get this craft room in some semblance of order, but every time I turn around, there's something else. <laughs> so, bear with me on this. I'm just trying to figure out which one of these I want to use. Turn this one around. I don't cut this wrong. Now I um, think if this fits on there, I will use this. Nope, it's a little too big. I think I'll use that one that says be happy. I'm in screen for you to see this. I tend to forget. <laughs> I always think I'm in frame and then I don't, I'm not. So I'm just going to put this, I wonder if I should put this on yellow card. Just so that I have a little more dimension in here. One moment. Now this is just card that's from uh, stickers, so, but it's always good to use up everything that you have. No waste makes it a lot better. And this yellow of the card is just the right color. So, and I think that will make that pop very nicely. Trying not to make this video too long. So. It's nice when you can use up everything. And there we go. And yep, that looks awesome just this way. So I'm going to put it slightly off center. I like that.
goodness. I hope everybody is doing great. Um, I know it's been a while since I posted anything, but as usual, you know, life is happening around. So. <laughs> I am going to try and post. I do have a few more little um, um, project shares I want to do with you. I have another one from Panda Hall Selected for what I received here uh, from them. I received a bunch of dies that I am looking so looking forward to playing with because it just seems like they just they're just awesome dies. They're like tags. You can make a banner out of them. So, so far, this is what it looks like. And we're going to figure out a bit more. Just put a bit more on here just so that you can get an idea of what this is going to look like once I'm finished. So, I do have these little yellow flowers. I'll put two of those on though because they seem to be quite big and this one just doesn't want to flip to where I want it to go there we go I think it was smooshed a bit so we have that and um where is my little Goodness. I had bling here oh here it is I have some yellow bling. And I had... <coughs> so sorry. thought I had one that had smaller. Well, I don't know. I did have one other thing here. Where did I put it? Always. Always got to find stuff. Oh, here it is. Right in front of me. Right in front of me. I have, that's right. I have other little. I have little bling stuff from before. I have a nice little yellow flower. I'll add that one on there as well. One sec. Just gonna put that there. I love the yellow flowers. They're so pretty. So I have. Where is my little? Hmm. Nope. because that one didn't work. That's too bad. And usually I fold this. I try to get this part up. Working with these little rhinestone things don't always go the way you want them to. They, they get a little bit unbended and stuff. So... What I do is like to pull it off, cut the back out of the way, and then layer, lay it on there. This one seems to not want to come off. This little teeny small yellow one, but nope, it's not small enough, I guess. Oh well. Oh, 
So there we go. So far, so good. This little guy won't stay down. I do have another yellow flower here. I'm trying to figure out where to put it. I think up here would be the best bet. So far, this is what we have. <coughs> so sorry for the cough again. And there's not much happening over here, but there will be eventually. But what I do want to show you now is this is the where the rings the ring will go. I just need to find my ring. Just like this. So there's a little ring. Right here, I will be adding ribbon onto it. I have this beautiful yellow ribbon. effect of it just one moment. Just need to get it. Sorry, they're making you wait. But I will just use the two that I have here to show you. So like I usually do, I take the ribbon I tie it on here. Pull it down to the side. This yellow ribbon as well. scissors are, seem to be getting a little dull. See either that or I've got them upside down. These are not left-handed scissors. <laughs> so, I love this yellow. I got it from the Dollar Tree. This ribbon. So, so I have these. They're all sitting here at the back like this and here is my little dangle that I made and I will put it here so you can see it it is on a little black chain I don't have a gold chain so I just put it on the black one and I did use two of the little jump rings for this one now I could put another charm in here but I just like to have just the one um, little bee hanging by itself and it does have a lobster claw on it, so it makes it easy to attach it to the onto the ring. And then I have it will be dangling right with the ribbons. 
So let's just get it out of the way, out of the way for a second and show you the little dangle. And there he is. He is get, getting some pollen from the <laughs> from the flowers. So that is how I would make this. I just used this little clip here, little lobster claw. It already came, the lobster claw and chain came just exactly the way it is. And then a little bee will be dangling on the side or hanging in with the flowers. So that is my little project share to show you how to do this. I hope you like this. I will share the rest of the book with you <coughs> at a later date. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't If you're not subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you to Panda Hall Selected for allowing me to review these products for them. I seriously think if you really like these little guys, you should go and scoop them up. Because I believe they are very popular, these little bees and the little gummy bears. So, I hope you all have a good evening and let's all get crafty. Bye-bye.